Unit Four, Reading, Exercise One. The kitchen of the future. These days, a lot of people enjoy trying out new recipes. Our kitchens are full of gadgets that make cooking quicker, easier, and better for the environment. Experts predict this trend will continue. So, what changes will we see in tomorrow's kitchen? Our future ovens will be a lot like touchscreen computers. They may start to tell us which foods our bodies have too much or too little of, and prepare our meals automatically. Our fridges will check how fresh our food is. Throw it away when it gets old, and send a shopping list to our smartphones before we run out of our favourites. Washing up will become a thing of the past, with self-cleaning tables, plates, knives, and forks. Perhaps the biggest changes will be in how we share our food. As we develop virtual reality. We won't need to be in the same place to cook or eat together. It'll be possible to share recipes or learn how to follow them from a chef hologram. When the meal is ready, you can eat it next to holographic dinner guests, even if they are on the other side of the world. And can we expect our food to change too? Chefs suggest we'll grow enough food at home for most meals, and when that isn't enough, we'll use three D printers to reproduce the more unusual items. All in all, we can expect technology to shape both how we eat and what we eat in the near future. Unit Five, Vocabulary and Listening, Exercise Three. Here at Youth Today, we're making a time capsule, and we're asking you what to put inside it. We're going to bury it under the TV studio, and no one will open it for one hundred years. It's going to contain objects that will tell young people in the future about today's lifestyles. We've got a smartphone, a games console, films, and TV programs in there. Now we'd like to hear your predictions about life in one hundred years for our competition. Phone in and tell us your ideas, and tell us which object you want to put in the time capsule. If you win, your object will go into our capsule. Unit five, vocabulary and listening, exercises four and six. One. David, I'm a bit worried about the future. I don't think we'll be leaving our houses much. For example, I think we'll be working and studying from home using the internet. I worry that we won't see other people anymore. What would I put into a time capsule? A laptop, maybe, but not mine. Two. Lena. I don't think people will want to tie themselves down in the future. By settling down and having a family when they're still young, we'll be spending more time enjoying ourselves, and robots will be doing the work we do today. It'll be great. If I win this competition, I'll put my favourite books into the time capsule. People will always want to take time out with a book. Three. Claire. Technology will change a lot in the future, I'm sure, but I can't see people being different. 
When I imagine myself in 30 years, I still see myself working hard, going out, playing sports. I think all those things are important. I'd put information about all our leisure and sporting activities into the time capsule, so people in a hundred years can take up old sports that we have now. Unit 5. Reading. Exercise 1. Life on Mars? Imagine you get the chance to travel into space. Will you go? Some scientists think this might be possible for many of us in a decade or two. If they're right, our children and grandchildren might one day live on other planets. In fact, the first short tourist trips into space have already happened. However, you can't go unless you're incredibly rich. The tickets cost around $30 million. Businessman Richard Branson wants to change this. His company, Virgin Galactic, promises that space trips will become much cheaper in the near future. The International Mars One project is even more ambitious. It plans to send 100 men and women to colonise the Red Planet. Sound exciting to you? Well, how will you feel if you can't leave? The project's director, Baz Lansdorp, says all of the tickets will be one way. Most scientists feel the project won't be possible for a long time, but Lansdorp is convinced the first trip isn't far away and he has invited people to apply to be passengers. By Nina Peters What do you think about a future in space? Comment below. Izzy just now. Unless we change our lifestyles, we'll destroy the Earth and we'll need to move into space. Peter, 15 minutes ago. A colony on Mars? Get real. We need to spend our money on the problems we've got here on Earth. Maggie, 34 minutes ago. What a brilliant adventure! If I get the chance, I'll go for sure. How can I apply?